We heard there was this great graphic novel series, and they just had this incredible emotional breadth of the storytelling. If I hear a voice, I will hide. If I see a human, I will run. What don't we do? Cross the fence. Promise me, God. Pinky swear. I first published Sweet Tooth in 2009. It's about a boy named Gus who's half deer, half human, and he's part of a new race of animal-human hybrid children that are being born in the wake of a pandemic. He soon befriends a big drifter named Jeopard. Take me! I read Sweet Tooth when it first came out. I finished it and loved it. I think it was Jeff Lemire's voice and the way that he brings so much of himself. Whether you're making a feature or you're doing television, you try and figure out what's your true north. So how do you guys know each other? He's we don't. He's going to take me to Colorado. And for us, Gus was that true north, his optimism that he carries throughout. Jim Mickle, as soon as I heard how in line his vision was with what I had originally created, I felt like it was in really good hands. When the darkness comes, you always have this hope with Gus. Last men have made it their mission to eliminate hybrids. <laughs> We've made it ours to protect them. The graphic novels were a little darker, a bit more foreboding. We felt we could really hold on to the themes, but make it a more enjoyable place. Do you honestly believe Gus can handle heartbreak? It doesn't matter what I believe. That little dude's got hope coming out of every pore. Credit to our amazing production team, the head of the art department and the head of costume. They saw the hopefulness and the special world. They really brought the pages to life. Jim has been amazing. He's a really great director. Jeff Lemire, he's been really helpful and very positive. To see something that you created in a sketchbook walking in front of you on a film set, it's wonderful. Some of the best parts of the show are some of the new characters. As we were starting to see the dailies and stuff, I'm like, this is seamless. Like, the novel just continued on. I just hope people have the experience that we get to have with our kids, where we cuddle up on the couch and all watch it together. They really are stories of hope in the midst of darkness, and I think those are the stories we need more than ever now. Thank you.